and uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, joining us today um, on, on another part of the uh, evolution of uh, the regeneration of Carnington. Uh, for those of you who were here just about 12 months ago, it was a rather a different day when we, some of you might remember we opened the uh, cadets building, it was, it was damp, cold, miserable, raining, uh, we were supposed to have a flyby and nothing happened at all, so uh, we certainly have been blessed today. Um, my name is Stuart Wallace, I'm from Bellway Homes, uh, and I'd like to extend a special welcome to the Mayor of Bedford, Mr Dave Hodson, and Mr Alex Taylor, along with many other of you distinguished guests. Today, as I say, marks another significant day in the regeneration of the former RE place, uh, with the reopening of the Shorts building and the new village square which you see. It's over 90 years now since the building was originally opened in 1917 and was initially used to house the design staff uh, for the Shorts Brothers who had been awarded the government contract at the time to build airships. As I'm sure most of you will be aware, on the 5th of October in 1930, the R101 airship crashed and was destroyed on a test flight near the town of Beauvais in France. That tragic event brought the end to the airship program and the site took over the use of an RAF base uh, and this building became known, I believe, as the station headquarters at the time. And I certainly remember when I first visited here, five or six years ago now, the uh, original telecoms uh, centre was still there, just as you used to see on the television where they had all the, uh, the cables. Uh, however, it's always, I think, been known pretty well locally as the Shorts building. This latest phase of the building's life commenced last year when we evicted a considerable number of pigeons who'd taken up residence, and I mean a considerable number. With a few structural repairs and alterations, a new roof, windows and a good clean externally, we hope you'll agree that it's been sympathetically renovated to enter its next life, and yet retain as many of the original features that we've been able to possibly do. The ground floor is now home to the East Coast Children's Centre, there on, on my right, um, part of the Shore Start program which is supported by Bedford Borough Council. The Common Hall we hope will become the centre for the community related activities and contains, as some of you have had the opportunity to see today, 17 historic photographs trying to give a brief history of the, of the building and of the use of the site. On the first and second floor of the uh, the short building. There are 20 apartments being constructed and there is a furnished show home there which is available for people to see today. Um, we hope to see if you go and see the show flat we we'll try to make the use of the, of the wonderful height windows in the building and lovely story heights which perhaps we're not always able to introduce into many other homes today. Um, we can take reservations today, Sally's here. <laughs> <laughs> Credit cards, checks, or, or I, I'm Small rather partial to a bit of cash as well, so <laughs> I'm sure we can do a deal. The village centre behind you it is named Beauvais Square, and as a, remark of, as, a, as a mark of remembrance, which we believe will be the focal point for the existing uh, uh, residents and the new residents who come into the, uh, into the scheme. The street names have been adopted to maintain the link with the airship era, era and a number of, uh, named after a number of the people who uh, were on the fateful flight and other people who've been associated with the site. The next phase of development will include street names such as Chamberlain Way. Uh, Godfrey Chamberlain was a founder member of the Luke Flying Club and he was the author of the airships, Cardington, and also a founding member of the Friends of Airship, um, Cardington Airship Station. There's Atherton Close, named after Lieutenant Commander Atherton, who was the first officer on the fateful flight. And Condor Boulevard, which is named after Frederick Condor, who was awarded the British Empire Medal for 37 years of service in the RAF. It gives me great pleasure to officially open the Shorts building, and the Common Hall in particular. Uh, for this, I'd like to introduce Mr Alex Taylor, and the Mayor of Bedford, to say Mr Dave Hodgson. Uh, the Mayor has helped us open a number of events here over the last 12 months. Uh, as I say, 12 months ago it was the Cadet Centre. Last month we opened 72 affordable housing uh, for uh, BPHA. Alex, uh, I hope he doesn't mind me saying he's 89. <laughs> 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 I've said it. 
His father was a crew member on the R101 and unfortunately perished in the accident 81 years ago. Alex lived in Shortstown and he's told me this morning about uh, he used to go to the village school in Cardington and walk along Harrodon Lane to, to, Car to Cardington School with other members of uh, the people who worked on the base here and, and members of the crew. Once the Mayor and Alex have cut the ribbon, I'd like to take a few photos um, and then I'd like to invite you all back into the building, you can relax and sit down again then, where there will be a presentation uh, by the Heritage Trust, Brian Hussett Heritage Trust. Uh, there's teas and coffee available, please look around the building, show flats available if people want to look there. And generally, I hope you all enjoy today. Thank you very much. Take it, and if you could send it to me. 